Hey what's going on guys, it's Combo here and today I will be showing you how to use the pan and zoom effect in Pinnacle Studios 12 Plus. So basically what the pan and zoom effect is used for is to zoom in on a certain point in a video to maybe uh, give more attention to or direct attention to um, to a point in the video if you want somebody to see something special you want to zoom in on it, I'll show you how to do it. So basically um, the way I learned how to do this is I play Call of Duty, I post Call of Duty videos as you guys know so if you want to zoom in on the kill feed if you guys don't know what that is um, it's basically a spot down here and sometimes when you get a nice you kill like four people in a row you get a nice kill feed so I want to zoom in on that to show the viewer that uh, the nice kill feed so um, right now you want to go to the clip that you want to zoom in you go to clip properties um, but before you do that I already did this uh, right before I did the video but you want to split the clip um, you just want to split it where the where you want to zoom in on it so this was whole one whole thing you just it split it by hitting the insert key where you want to split and uh, once you have that you go to clip properties uh, the bottom icon here it's add an effect you want to hit the pan and zoom effect and uh, basically here is where it gets a little bit more difficult um, you can do a variety of things here uh, zoom is how far it zooms in obviously negative 100 to 100 uh, 100 is the highest and uh, horizontal is uh, where you want to zoom in horizontally and vertical is the same thing for vertical so um, basically what you guys want to do if I want to zoom in on the bottom left hand corner which is where the kill feed is uh, first thing you want to do is zoom in to where you would like it um, how far you would like it I should say and uh, then you want to head over here to the uh, move it over with the horizontal and move it down with the vertical so right there's the bottom left hand corner and uh, I want to zoom in on that. You can always go more if you want to zoom in all the way and go less. Um, usually the more you zoom in, the quality will get because the pixels are taking up more more space and are bigger and results in less quality. So uh, I'll zoom in here and uh, that's, that's how it will look. Um, but the thing is when you guys are uh, just playing the video, the way it works in uh, Pinnacle is is uh, when you're just playing it, it'll go straight into the zoom. It won't fade in or out. So I'll show you how to do that. As you'll see there, it just zooms right into it and then zooms out. Uh, the thing you want to do here is add keyframe. So you want to go back to the clip by it and hit use keyframes down here. Keyframes are a little bit difficult and uh, can be confusing at times. But basically, you want to have three keyframes. Uh, here's two. You want to uh, go to go to the second one here. One sec. I don't know why this isn't letting me edit it, but you want to go to the second keyframe here. First, click on a spot so you can get three keyframes. Add it, and there you have three keyframes: one, two, and three. Uh, you want one to be the normal, so you want to go here, the first keyframe. Make sure it's on the one and make it regular. So zero for everything. So that's fine for one. Two, you want to be uh, where you want it to be zoomed in, say the left hand corner, like I showed you earlier. You want it to be that setting. And the third one, you want to make it zero again. So basically, what this will do is uh, it will fade into it and it will fade into the zoom and fade out if you guys are interested in that. Um, most most of you guys w will want this instead of just having it go right from the regular sized video into the zoom so I'll show you what this looks like instead of the other so the video is playing it fades into the bottom left hand corner and fades out so that's how you do the pan and zoom effect uh, using keyframes and stuff like that so I do hope you guys enjoyed and um, if you found this informational I would like a thumbs up so other than that, guys, I will see you all later, and have a good day.